Hey Scrappers, Moose here again. So on this episode we're going to be scrapping an iMac. Now these are one of these all-in-one computer monitor things. Um, this has been sitting on my this has been sitting on my workbench for months because I've been dreading taking it apart. Um, nobody builds computers like Apple. They are the most difficult things to take apart. Um, of course, this one doesn't work, the screen is shattered, um, and there's something else wrong with it, it won't, uh, it won't start up. I tried selling it on eBay, for all those people who are going to comment, because I know you're going to comment, you're going to say, sell it first, yeah, I tried. Um, I started the auction off at 99 cents, no one wanted it, so I'm scrapping it. Now, with one of these things, the first thing you're going to notice on it is, hey, there's no screws. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you right now this is not gonna be fun. So with these things, what you have to do is you gotta separate it's like two pieces you gotta separate, so let's take a look at it. Alright, so I'm gonna get it on its face. There's two pieces here you gotta separate. Hopefully this isn't speed pain in the butt. It sounds like it's coming apart. One can only hope. Ooh, that was scary easy. Um, Alright, so taking a look inside here. So we've got the hard drive. We've got some RAM chips. We're going to have Avalanche over on the other side of the bench. Oh, just like that. So we're gonna have here's the motherboard in there. Um, Apple motherboards are freaking huge. Alright, so we got some RAM chips. Alright. So we've got this. is a Wi-Fi card which has some uh, gold fingers on it. Trim those off. CPU is going to be behind here. That's a big copper and aluminum heatsink. Um, tons of monolithic ceramic capacitors on here. Uh, crystal oscillators, a couple of tantalum capacitors. <clears throat> There's uh, going to be some good stuff on there to, to pull off if you're into that kind of thing. Or sell it as is. So there's this thing which is in there, which is beautiful um, as part of the heat sink. And if you take a file to it, because you know computers can often have aluminum and copper or aluminum that's copper colored. So this I can tell right away by the weight that it's going to be solid copper. But just to make sure, take a file to it, and yep, that is a nice chunk of copper. This here is half a pound of copper. I just weighed it. <clears throat> That's a little silver paste on there. You want to scrape that off the razor. Hold on to that. All right. Now this plate, that steel. However, oh, that's steel too. A lot of times in these apples, you'll find that there's a lot of aluminum in them. Uh, this one, magnetic. So that one is steel. So we're going to keep keep going. Alright, 
So there's the power supply. Uh, some scrap yards will buy that as is, or you can you know, take it apart. There's going to be a little bit of copper, aluminum, and stuff like that in there. Last piece, the screen. Alright, so I can see right here a nice little gold tab, which I like to see that. Gold is my favorite color. Put back this, which is some kind of aluminum. Part of these and pretty much all flat screen TVs, monitors, whatever. Uh, once you get to this point, really the only thing left that's worth anything is these boards on the side. And there you go. So you've got this board that has. You know, a good bit of gold plating on this one over here, some over there, going all the way up the edge up here, and again on the back side we've got a little bit of plating there. I've got a ton of monolithic ceramic capacitors, uh, which are always nice to play with. So, put that in our consider. I consider it high grade. Scrap yards are probably considered mid grade because there's not a whole lot on it, but they're usually looking for other stuff. And now uh, you'll notice when I pull these off, I try and get them like flat with these little ribbon wires and pull up and away. That's so that I try and keep um, the gold foils on there and pull part of the wire off with it because that'll come off in the AP. Um, it's easier than having to clip off all of these things. So here again. Another little gold plated board, some, just like a ram finger chip. Nice if you want to pull out those monolithic ceramic capacitors on there. Now, this back piece, you're going to want to make sure you check this stand because this, I can pretty much tell you, is going to be aluminum. Um, yep. So, you're going to want to try and get that off because that's a good, good bit of weight right there. Uh, looks like that works a bit again. So, let's see if we can. Get Alright, so let's wrap up the uh, iMac teardown. So, we've got 11 pounds of steel, light iron. We've got 2 pounds, 12 ounces of aluminum, or as my friends down under would say, aluminium. We've got, this part is beautiful, this is all copper. Number 2 copper, we've got a pound and a half. That's just fantastic. The, um, there's some wires in the power supply that are just huge braided copper. This heat sink is copper and that plate is copper. What would be considered copper bearing motors? Even though, yes, I know they're not all technically motors. Copper bearing. We've got 13 ounces, so almost a pound. Just a little bit of wire. About two ounces, and we've got a pound and a half of motherboard. We've got one ounce of logic board, which is about ten bucks a pound. We've got this disk drive, which I'm going to sell on eBay, probably get about twenty bucks for it. We've got those two neodymium magnets from the hard drive, one platter, which you know it's basically just aluminum, but if you save it up, you, know, you can sell it on eBay for a little bit more than aluminum price. Uh, we got the reader head, which um, I'm putting aside because that strip that you see right there at the bottom that is gold. 
So there's gold in these things. And finally, we've got all the nice gold board. It's about four ounces, but there's all kinds of nice you know, fingers to trim into the RAM. This will soak nicely in AP to get all those little gold foils off. And that does it. Alright, so that's all there is for scrapping an iMac. Remember, obviously, if it works, sell it. If it doesn't work, try and sell it on eBay anyway. Um, I tried. The auction went for 99 cents. No one bought it. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.